Okay. And I'm going to say okay again to get your attention now. Now, what I'm about to say here are my personal beliefs after evaluating and reevaluating. So you're going to have 10 seconds to skip this. If this like came on autoplay or something, you're busy, your hands are wet or something, I'll give you a 10 second warning. So starting right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now, that should be enough time. Now, here's something I'm going to talk about. Now, you could take this metaphysically if you like. Um, like I said, it's just my personal beliefs. And I give you the warning to turn this off if you don't want to hear it. And now, here I go. There are two things in the mind. One is the relevancy filter. Second is recency. So let's talk about it then. Um, hey, I went to work today. And now I'm sitting here playing Super Mario 64. And um, the first five, ten, maybe even an hour turned out really nice. But as I'm sitting in it and I'm doing it more and more and more, um, I got really shitty. So what is that? Well, number one, time is important. Yes, that's true. But it's less so that. And the, the second thing is it's more so how much happens in between the space, the time space between when you do this and then when you go back to that. So let me explain this. So when we have a trigger in our mind, or we have whatever stimuli, let's say, Oh, the last time, when's the last time I heard something similar to this, or when's the last time I heard this at all, overall? So we have that, right? Um, so, oh, shit. So what happens is, let's say you do your Super Mario 64 stream, and then you go to work. You're having all sorts of stuff coming in and happening, and then you come back, and you're all great at it, right? Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. So you have your recency stimuli is a, is then prompting a recall of the most recent this and that, right? Then your relevancy is then what, which is what makes the. Sorry, the battery died. Was that an unconscious thing? Well, let's get back to that. Uh, your relevancy filter is what determines what is the action. Free will is an illusion. Or at least it depends on your perspective of that and your definition of that anyway. So, all right, we have that, right? So, all right, we know what's going on now. Or at least I think I do. <laughs> Theorizing. You got your recency, you got your relevancy, right? Now, the only problem, difficulty of this, and I don't know if it's really a problem, but I'm going to have to address it, so. And that is, it's because the conscious mind, there is no way the conscious mind is going to have enough room to know all the contents that are going on in the subconscious mind. And what happens is then that you get what you get then. Um... This is, that's just the way it is. There, there's so much shit going on in your subconscious mind that your conscious mind cannot possibly hold even, like, even 1% of it, at least by in my age, anyway. Well, that's the thing. Age, I already mentioned time. It's really more so how much happens in that space. That's what it really is. So, all right, yeah, there you go. I feel like I could have said a lot more. But yeah, this is what's going on now. Or at least this is my personal beliefs anyway. Recency and relevancy working together. If so, if two things are equally relevant, then it's going to go with the most recent. And then with all the recency, like this and that and this and that, then your decision is based on whatever you're consciously aware of it or not. 
whatever you want to admit or not. And remember, this is just my personal beliefs, my theory. Maybe it's just all physical or whatever, but your obviously then picks the winning, the sit, a.k.a. your president, honestly, if you want to call it that. So, there you go. Yeah. That's why you be playing so good for a while, and then suddenly you get bad. It's because then those two bitches start fucking everything up. So, there you go. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully you appreciate the little warning I gave. In case you didn't want to take in this information. But, these are my personal beliefs. Um... You know, that I've held for a few years now. So there you go. Enjoy yourselves and take care. And one more thing I want to address is that after thinking about the free will thing, my also my other personal beliefs are that I do not believe in this literal interpretation of hell. <laughs> Fire and jet. I don't believe in that. The closest you're ever going to get to hell, in my opinion, is a shit paradigm in the head. That's what I think. Having a shitty paradigm is the closest you're ever going to get to hell. You know, this that whole concept to me you know, about eternal damnation is a bunch of fucking bullshit anyway. It's like, oh, hey, we are AT&T and we're going to eternally charge you for your U-verse. You know where we're going to get with that if we eternally charge you? Nowhere. We will never get paid because we are eternally charging you. You see, it doesn't make fucking sense. Ah. Okay, that's enough. Get out of here before we get into something deeper. Bye. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had to come back to tell you something else. And that is... One of the ways I figured out what I figured out is because one time I was listening to the best of Wiener. If you don't know who they are, that's the name of the band. Well, not these two guys here, but uh, this kid that beats and butthead sees, his name is Stuart. He has a Wiener t-shirt. Wiener is a band. Um, I was listening, I think it was Wiener, maybe it was Warrant. I don't know. I saw them both at Waterfest. Yeah, break, break. Anyway. So I was listening to the CD. Yeah, we have to be specific about that, don't we? But it's cool to know that even with a mechanical process of moving the reading thing, it still happened. And of course, if you use something solid state, it's a lot more stable that way. For more reasons than one. But the thing is, I was listening to it. And I was just laying in bed or sitting up like this like I was usually doing. Now, I would get the usual thing where I hear the track. It's like, okay, the recent, the most recent time I heard this track was like, it was, I was sitting here and it was like daytime and the tint was kind of yellow and stuff. Now, how I knew that with these filters that I was talking about is that when I heard it, okay, so I was shuffling this, right? Right. So then, one track that comes after another I had a vanilla, which is the original order thing, happen like two tracks in a row. And how I know this is not because I memorized it, but it's because not only did I have a flashback to when it was like yellow tinted, but all of a sudden I saw a blue tint as well. And it was like a lot more sleepier. And I, get, and I think this must have been like in 2012. And how is that possible? How am I getting both of them? Well, it's because, one, when I heard the song, the first thing I was doing, I don't know, I guess, the first thing you see is based on relevancy. So that's how it determines what you see first, or what's your dominant, what's your king, queen, whatever. <laughs> don't get in that. But, so I'm remembering... The yellow tint, but I'm also remembering the blue tint as well. And that is because... No, Bob, no I'm not. That's because not only did I trigger the recent time where I heard, heard a song, where, which is just the most recent at all, but I also ended up triggering the last time I heard, like, this 
vanilla order of two tracks, like, for example, track three and track four. When's the last time you heard that? Back in 2012. That's the last time when we I heard the chronological order, and that's why I remembered that and the other thing at the same time. So then I figured out, well, that's the case. Well, all right, so we're going to some other thing that I did with Audacity, where I take two. We're going to talk about how to make as many copies as you possibly can of a certain memory if you want to do that. Now, we're going to use what this information we just have here, what I just explained. You can rewind and study it if you like and take the notes. So I went into Audacity, which is an audio editing program, in case you didn't know. And then I had two, I had a tone that is like the pitch exact, everything's exact. I put a copy of it in the left, I put a copy in. Well, it's not just a tone, but it's, it's, I'm trying to explain this. It's, you can't, it can't, you can't just generate a tone that's steady, like, there's gotta be like some sort of jiggling or something going on or I think maybe white noise would be better, like random white noise. And then once that's generated, then you want to copy that exact same random generated uh, white noise. And then make it on the left channel, make it the right channel on there, right? And they're both in the exact same time. So that means it's going to sound completely mono. Now what I did was I took one of them and I only drifted them in eighth to a ninth thousandth of a second apart. I'll say that again. In eighth to a ninth thousandth. Eight or nine thousandth. Not a single thousandth, not a couple thousandth. Nine and eight to ninth. I'll just keep it simple that way. We'll just say it. Thousandth of a second. That's a very little bit that they're apart. And then I played it back after doing that, that little adjustment. And it sounded in stereo. And then I realized something here. Okay. That must be my brain's bit rate. I guess. Maybe it's higher than that. I don't know. But we're just going to go with 8,000 or 9,000 audio frames per second here. We're just going to go with that. This tells me that... Okay. Good memory. Now we got... What came before that, let's split that into eight or nine thousand parts. And then when we remember this, we're gonna we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna go backwards. The last whatever frame of this before this. Then to remember it again, the last two frames of this before that. Then to remember it again, the last three frames of this before that. You keep doing that. And for every second you can of this before, you can use that eight to nine thousand times. You know, don't don't start from the beginning and use them all up in terms of recency. You want to work your way up like this. Didn't last first, last first, last second, last fourth, last one hundredth, last one thousandth. But just I'm I'm just skipping ahead numbers just to illustrate this. Last first. Last second, last third, last fourth. That's what you really want to do. So there you go. Have a great day. And thank you for watching. I really do mean it too.